Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott steps away to his left. Oh, Prescott stripped. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of the football as well. He can expose that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, kind of their teammate who was able to get it. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Eluding the pressure right. Finding some room at midfield. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, I know he doesn't want a fumble loss by his name, but it was fourth down. I don't think he was going to get to the marker anyway. I think he just hired you as his attorney because you have just argued that this fumble is actually okay. I'm just saying not all fumbles are created equal, and they probably the defense would have had the ball there anyway. That's okay, so, so the defense gets credit now, right? Someone yes. gets a nice little mark by their name, but it really doesn't hurt the other guy because he wasn't getting there anyway. I like that. Good job. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Second and five now. Mahomes, he'll let this go for the end zone. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs take advantage of the turnover and put up six. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there at work down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turn the other team Ryan takes it down and scores. Ryan that can be a deflator for a He's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing the second. Ryan Another try after the first Ryan down Ryan sack. Ryan Ryan He's going to air Ryan one. Ryan and that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. The Cowboys on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This will be third and 15. He'll fire deep downfield for the win. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. 
didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. So after the INT, here's Mahomes rolling to his right. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Mahomes going to throw it here. It's a slam to Hill. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Darrell Williams taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Butker on for the PAT. This part of the game has been an adventure thus far, but this one is good. Five plays there on that drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because they're a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. 
Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise or throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Interesting. Mahomes wants to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost a coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to get this from behind them. Complete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So back to back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Triangle button. Triangle button. Triangle button. Triangle button. Triangle button. Chiefs are going to get him. Frank Clark able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Triangle button. Of explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys are just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow Team Case, Team Casey. Team Casey. Team Casey. Team Team Casey. Team Cal. Team Team Casey. Post game report player stats. Finish game.